start with some injury news, please, Tony. Um, we still don't think Matt will be fit. Um, Solomon's back today. It's the first time we've. Uh, We'll have seen Solomon. Um, he's most probably had the, you know, the, well, he has had the longest and furthest journeys to travel over this, uh, over this period. Um, Chadley had a, a came off against Russia with um, a shoulder injury, so he'll be assessed again today before the game um, tomorrow. London will be assessed as well. Yeah, so I think Solomon's okay. It's just he'll be the journey and the, the two games he played the two games as well. You tied uh, Gareth McCauley down, so. New contract. How important was it to get that one uh, done? Yeah, very important. You know, the, the, I don't think it was difficult because Gareth wants to stay, and you know, the club want him to stay. He's been absolutely outstanding this year. Played all the games, and um, as I've said before, you know, he's he's pretty unique in his his fitness um, for a person of that age to be as fit as Gareth. And um, you know, it's fantastic, and you know, long may it continue for us. Have you known a player of that age? Before to you know, go that far in the game and play for that and achieve that kind of longevity that you've managed. Yeah, there's, there's other examples that, that you know people have uh, have gone on and played into their forties. You know, even going back to Billy Bonds, who was uh, you know was probably as fit or as fit a player as I, I ever seen. Um, so that you know you do get these players occasionally. We're lucky we've got one here. There's a gap. Just look at the table. You're in eighth position. There's a little gap above you, and there's a gap below. How do you guard against? Complacency at this stage of the season because it, you know, it might be understandable for players to sort of drift towards the summer when they're thinking about a couple of weeks ahead. No, there's no complacency. We're just absolutely delighted where we are. I think the, the, the football club, the team, and everybody deserves enormous credit that we've got 44 or 43 points already. And what we want to do is enjoy the remaining games and try. We've, we've got a tough run in. You know, we play the top six, I think, or top five, and. So we've got. Uh, we know it's going to be tough, um, but we want them to enjoy it, and enjoy the challenge, and and go out there and, and really have a go and get as many points as we possibly can. Just looking at United, are you surprised they haven't pushed harder for the title this season, or even the top four? So it looks like they're not even going to make that. I think they've got the right manager. I think they're going in the right direction, um, and they will be. Uh, you know, it looks as though Chelsea are running away. You're going to run away with it this year, but. Um, I wouldn't be betting against Manchester United next year, and uh, you know they've still got um, the the thing I think with Mourinho is that he knows how to win, and he knows how to win at the top <coughs> with big clubs, and um, he's had a year this year of, of uh, sorting things out, um, and they're a very good side. I think on their day they're as good as anybody in the Premiership. Um, next year I'm sure he'll add to it again, and they'll be they'll be there or thereabouts next year. What be the key? For you winning from, from your point of view because they haven't lost in the league for so long? Well, we have to have uh, you know a, a, a bit of luck during the game and play to our maximum. And you know, Manchester United have got to be off it a little bit, and you know, that's what happens. And um, sometimes you know, it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't go your way. It, it, it's a big game in, in lots of respects, and we know that we're playing against a football club that you know, financially and, and um, in stature, uh, 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 miles in front of us. But um, you know, you get games like that in this league, and you can manage to win games if it goes right for you. They do, though, have quite a few problems, injuries, and suspension. Why? How much encouragement does that does that offer you? Yeah, if you look at the top six clubs and the backup that they've got in their squads, they have some fantastic players. They're there where they are and, and able to compete. Um, at the level they've competed in all major competitions this year, because they've got a strong squad. You know they haven't got just 11 players. You know they've these these clubs have got 20 players and 20, 25 sorry players, all international players. So you know if he gets a few injuries, he can replace them by very experienced international players. You know who have cost a lot of money. I was asking about a report that was in the uh, papers this morning about the the government and uh, Brexit. They want footballers to be overseas players to be exempt. From post-Brexit regulation, is that good for the game? Is that the right thing for the Premier League chairman to be looking for? Don't get me involved in politics. Just a football man. They'll have to decide it, and I'm sure they will.